All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be doing something new for me. Uh, some of you guys may have done this before, but uh, this will be first for me, and that's painting tires. Uh, I'm going to spray these tires with this Emmy Miller Tire Company black tire paint. I've seen some tractors that have, that have had this done, and they look real sharp. I'm going to try to use my old Campbell Hossfeld uh, spray gun there, and... Uh, these are used Alliance brand tires. I guess they're six ply. I guess what that, that's what that PR means. Um, but they're Alliance. They're uh, 12 4, uh, 38 or 11 38. Yeah, I talked to a Firestone guy earlier today, Firestone dealer. He said 11 38 would have been the old uh, designation for this tire, and 12 4 is the new designation for that tire. So, um, same tire, two different sizes. So, Anyhow, uh, Alliance brand, um, I've never heard of them, but I ain't been around the block that much. So they got really good tread on them, which is not uncommon for these old tractor tires. Um, but the checks on them are not bad. This is the worst of it right here. Um, so we're going to see. I've heard good things about that tire paint. It kind of gets down in them checks and helps a little bit, but these are not enough to scare me off. Uh, inside looks pretty good. Of course, they normally do. Um, the beads look pretty good yet. The uh, doesn't look like they got too tore up when they took them off. The guy I bought it off of, he was a, a parts dealer. He said he picked them up off a guy that uh, apparently the guy restored a tractor and he wanted everything on that tractor brand new. Even if these tires were still pretty good, took them off and put on brand new ones. So that's the story I got with them. Um, but anyhow, I got them hung up here. Uh, it ain't pretty, but, um, and I don't know if I mentioned it or not, these would be going on to a uh, unstyled B that I picked up a few months ago, and I'm not normally real big on uh, the looks on my tractors. Uh, mostly I just like them to run, but uh, that B is, that's a pretty good looking tractor, and uh, it needs tires anyhow. Needs tires, and one is completely shot. Um, so I figure if I'm gonna put tires on it, I might as well pretty them up a little bit because that's that's a pretty nice tractor. So anyhow, I'm going to put some of this. This, uh, this stuff comes ready to use. Uh, back in the day, I guess you could get it concentrate, and then you mix it 50-50 with water, but they don't sell it concentrate no more. You can get it by the quart, which is what I got, and you can get it by, I think they sell them by five-gallon buckets too. So I'm going to put that in my sprayer. And I'm going to start spraying and we'll see, uh, we'll see how this turns out. I'll catch you guys up here in a little while. Alright guys, well there's the difference. Um, I guess I kind of put it on a little heavy. I don't know. I went over it. I hit it probably, you know, this one here. Oh, my rope fell. I had to fix that. Um, I don't know. I probably hit this thing, you know, three times over, especially on the sidewalls. That's mostly what you're going to see. Um, be honest with you it's a little glossier uh, than I kind of hope it dries out to be uh, it's supposed to dry to like a satin so um, it's water based so I expect it to, uh, you know kind of dry out here I just got done spraying it like I said I put it on a little heavy so uh, I don't know um, we'll see uh, we'll see how it dries um, but anyhow there's this one's done and that one ain't so there's the difference but like I say I just got done spraying it so I probably used about no oh, better than a pint so that's that's about half and that's about empty so better than a pint on there I uh, read about this stuff online a little bit on some tractor forums and stuff and they say you know a little bit goes a long way so um maybe i am putting it on too heavy but anyhow i'll uh, catch you guys up here after i get that one done and uh, we'll take a look at what they both look like then all right guys so here we got uh, both of them painted up and um just got done with this one maybe uh oh i don't know three four minutes ago long enough for me to run some water through my uh gun i don't want it getting all nasty on me so you can see this is way glossy just like the other one i put it on just as heavy um but it probably took me oh i don't know 10 minutes to spray this one and in that time you can see this one's starting to dry out just a bit and uh it's kind of getting that satin sheen to it like a new 
new rubber wood. So, um, like I say, I've seen this on other tractors, uh, and it looked real good. So, I still got pretty high hopes for it. Um, it's really humid out here. Um, June, late June, almost July in Indiana, and uh, you know, we got humidity, that's for sure. So, I'm going to let these hang. Oh, probably I'll let them hang a couple of days and uh, get good and dry before I handle them. But just in that 10 minutes, I mean, there's some there's some patches on here that's starting to dry out. So uh, we'll let them hang for a couple days, and I will catch you guys up in a couple days. Okay, so real quick here, um, I dumped, before I cleaned my gun out, I dumped everything that was in the gun back in the jug here, and... I guess I didn't use it. I didn't use quite as much as I thought I did. It says uh, for spill right there where it says that just about right there is the line of the material. So um, you can see how much I use there. So I would guess probably if a guy wanted to do a set of front tires, you know, all four tires on a tractor, this ought to be more than enough to do, you know, that amount there. Um, I've used more than half of the jug. On the rears but that'd be plenty enough to spray set of front so one jug of this stuff would uh, I would say very easily do you know all four tires on a tractor um, so anyhow that give you an idea how much of that stuff you need and uh, you can see just how heavy I put it on there so anyhow I'll catch you guys up in a couple days we'll get a look at what they look like then okay so here it is uh, two nights later they've been drying for roughly 48 hours and they look really good. Um, they are the sheen and color of a brand new tire. So the uh, the uh, checks on the sides, they didn't fill in as much as I hoped they would. You can kind of see that checking there a little bit. but So I guess the stuff was pretty thin anyhow. But man, they look good. So uh, I'm real happy with how they turned out. We get them down off of here and uh, get them mounted up. So... Uh, that's uh that's how you paint your tires if you guys like this video click the thumbs up button if you want to see more like it click the subscribe button i'll catch you on the next one